It's got great colors, an awesome engine, and you can stand up in it on prom night. Nineteen seventy one saw a completely new Dodge Charger. Out was the long, sharp, boxy Charger, and in was the new, curvier model for 71. The new design featured a more pronounced long nose, short deck look, and although it was about two inches shorter than the 68 to 70 model, it was also wider than its predecessor. The design remains controversial, with the interestingly upswept, pillarless side window design and the fastback ish rear roofline. A new bumper design split the nose in half, and our Charger Super B features a clean look with hidden headlights. You could order all kinds of engines in your 71 Charger, but our featured Super B is fitted with the one that everyone talks about, the 425 horsepower 426 Hemi V8, and it's coupled to a four-speed manual transmission. And while a Hemi Orange 71 Super B with a 426 and a stick might be tops on any muscle car wish list, it's the top of this one that makes it even more special. This Super B is full of cool stuff like the 426 Hemi V8 and a four speed manual transmission. But everybody's gonna be talking about the factory installed power sunroof. If you've never seen a factory installed power sunroof like this one, well, you're not alone. Chrysler didn't sell very many of the nearly $500 options, which mandated the full vinyl top as well. And when you add in the code E74 426 Hemi engine at over $880, you're looking at an expensive Super B back in 71, even before you start adding the rest of the options. Which do you think had lower production, the Hemi or the sunroof? We'll answer that little trivia question later. But if you did spring for all these goodies, well, you got one heck of a ride, man. Our feature is a sprawling white bench seat interior, complete with power windows, a 150 mile an hour speedo, an 8,000 RPM tack, and a pistol grip shifter for working the four speed gearbox. Looking out over the long hood is a trip from any angle, as the Ram Charger hood scoop comes to life, letting the two Carter AFB four barrels fill the Hemi with air. We're envisioning a clear day, turning up the Music Master AM radio, hitting the power overhead switch to let the sun shine in, and then dumping the clutch to let the 490 foot-pounds of torque launch us straight into the fifth dimension. These cars drive really nicely when they're in this kind of condition. Power steering and brakes ease the driver effort, and the heavy-duty clutch is quite tolerable, even in traffic. The famous Chrysler torsion bar front suspension is taut but comfortable, with a heavy sway bar to keep things on the level in the turns. And the 15-inch rally wheels and Goodyear Polyglass GTs, well, they help hold the road. A Dana 60 rear axle can stand up to the torque as the leaf springs just try to hold it in place. And these cars have some of the coolest exhaust tips ever. Many call them the machine gun tips, but the red and chrome ends are officially named exhaust bright tips. We just call them awesome. This is a love or hate it design, and we're leaning towards the love it side especially drenched in Hemi Orange with the white vinyl top and blacked out hood to break it all up. The thin black stripe looks like the car just crossed the finish line with a black ribbon wrapped around the base of the windshield. All told, there were 5,054 1971 Super Bs built. 22 came equipped with the 426 Hemi engine and only nine of those were four-speed manual cars. Coincidentally, 
There were also nine known power sunroof 1971 Super Bs built with any of the available engines. But how many Hemi four-speed cars had sunroofs? Well, I'm not sure. But this one in the brothers' collection is the Super B's knees for sure. From high style to high power, this Super B flies with the best of them. And we thank our friends here in the Brothers Collection for letting us monkey around with it. And we invite you to share this car with your other friends that dig Mopars. Don't forget you can push that button and subscribe and we'll bring you something else cool next time on Muscle Car of the Week.